And this is Tom uh, Birmingham from Chicago. How you doing, Tom? Okay, how you doing, Vip? Good, good. Say, so talk a little bit about things you've discovered to uh, work a little easier, less stress. Um, one thing I notice is uh, I know a lot of people work with an easel and stuff, you know, and that keeps their back straight. But um, I always like to work up against the table. Right. And uh, when I'm drawing, I try to be conscious uh, conscious of my. Uh, you know my posture because after a while I'll start leaning over and over and over and then I'll start getting lower back pain so it's important to me to you know be conscious of that and um, I learned some things from on the job and stuff and I even used a uh, at home sometimes I'll use one of those Swedish chairs where you put the knees down and there's no back to it and that sort of supports you get your posture going too you know because I noticed working at the computer I'll start getting like this, and I'll get lower and lower and lower, and I start, slouch, start slouching and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, be kind, it's like, for me, I have to be conscious of that to keep my back straight, you know, so I don't get that lower back pain, because that's what I'll feel it after I'm doing caricatures, and then I can last like, you know, three or four hours easily without a break and stuff, you know, so it works wow. out pretty good. Tom, thanks a lot for your advice. Really appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, and have a lot of fun at NCN. You too. <laughs> Take care. Hi, I'm Tom Richmond and I wanted to talk a little bit about exercise and being an artist. Um, artists sit on their butts all day long and do art and that's what you do and, and it doesn't seem like exercise would be very important but it is because in order to be able to comfortably sit on your butt all day long and not get tired and keep your energy levels up it's important to take some time to get your heart rate up, get your blood flowing, even if it's just nothing more than a brisk walk for a half hour a day. Uh, it can really make a big difference for your health and I think quality of life and your work. It's important to be able to um, get a little bit of time in for yourself and frankly I think you get that time back because of your energy levels and, and your ability to, to be able to sit longer and, and do the things that you do more efficiently. So exercise is very important and it's something they have to make time for. So no excuses? No excuses. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> Thanks a lot.